So obviously our goal now is to get that 3D door open. So uh, we need to find two items. One of them I believe... what the hell? hell is that? Don't ever remember that happening. Then again, it was a long time ago that I played this. James has spotted something. Go get it, James. I got shotgun shells. Did I do good? You did very good, James. Anything else? Nope. There's a shelf here. There are red handprints on the shelf. Move the shelf. Yes. One handed. The, the manly way to move a shelf. One hand. James. Mary? Oh, Maria. It's you. I thought you were. Sorry. Anyway, I'm glad you're alive. Anyway, what do you mean anyway? <laughs> you don't sound very happy to see me. I was almost killed back there. Why didn't you try to save me? All you care about is that dead wife of yours. I've never been so scared in my whole life. You couldn't care less about me, could you? Nope. No, I <laughs> just then stay with me. Don't ever leave me alone. You're supposed to take care of me. I know you're a drug addict. So, what about Laura? Did you find her? Yeah, but she ran away. We've got to find her. You really seem to care about her. Do you know her? I've never met her before. I just feel sorry for her. She's all alone. And for some reason, I feel like it's up to me to protect her. Up to you to protect her? You can't even protect yourself! Not to mention the fact that you're a drug addict. We have to get you to rehab right away, Maria. Ah, freaky noises again. Don't you know what drugs effect drugs have on your brain, Maria? This is your brain's on drugs. Oh shit! Oh shit! This is your brain's on drugs. Oh, wait, James, as well, like. I would have been more specific, like, it's like, Oh, we need to find Laura. Did you see her? Yeah, little bitch called me a fart face. We have to find her. Fuck that. Nobody calls me a fart face. Be like, yeah, we have to find her, but then we're going to pipe her justice <laughs> to the back of the dome. You know what I'm saying, Maria? Okay, uh, please be locked. Yes! That's just another load of rooms we'd have to check out, which I can't be bothered to check out. So, obviously with Maria now, we can, um, open the refrigerator. Maria's really strong. Oh crap. Yeah, I'm even gonna try and dodge you. KOD! I need your help opening a fridge, Maria. I'm too weak. Oh, I forgot about this. Hi there, everybody! Thanks for tuning in. Welcome to another exciting edition of Trick or Treat! Here you either answer the question correctly and win a great prize, or fail to answer correctly and receive 
the punishment. I'll be him on And our lucky, or should I say unlucky challenger today is Jenny. Silent Hill is home to a thrilling amusement park that both children and adults love. The question is, what is the name of this amusement park? Lakeside, One, I think. Fantasyland. Two, Silent Hill Amusement Park. Three, Lakeside Amusement Park. Yep, okay. say three. Quickly, on to question number two. Silent Hill witnessed a gruesome murder of you. A brother and sister were playing in the road when they were attacked and chopped into pieces with an axe. Or smashed bones, splattered blood, and finally... What a terrible tragedy. What a gruesome end to such things. What was the name of the murderer who committed this vile act? My good friend Walter Sullivan. Walter Sullivan. Two, Scott Fairbanks. Three, Eric Gay. Now for our third and final question. South of the lake is a deserted old neighborhood called South Vale. From there to Pale Vale, the central resort area northwest of the lake, there's only one road you can take. Just one road, no more. The third and final question is, what is the name of that road? One, Bachman Road. Two, Rindell Street. Three, Nathan Avenue. Well, that's the last of our questions. Have you got it all figured out? When you know the answers, head to the storeroom on the third floor to collect your prizes. But be careful if you're wrong. <laughs> well then, everybody, thanks for tuning in. You again sometime. Bye bye. Quite confident. What was that? Well, am I an answer man? Yeah, I'm quite confident with um, the first two questions, and I think the third one as well. I think I remember it being Nathan Avenue. I just want to switch the map back to. How do I do it? How do I get back to the Silent Hill map? This is ridiculous. Ah, oh, there we go. Right, zoom in. Yeah, Nathan Avenue. Because there's Rendell Street there. Yeah. So it'll be 313 is the answer to the box. It's back on the third floor. No time for you! KOD! This way, Maria. This is where the. Ow! This is where the fridge is. I can't open that motherfucker. It's like the sword and the stone, bitch. It just won't birch. You can't open it? Yeah. Maria, give me a hand here. Come on. You're supposed to be the big man around here. How's a little girl like me supposed to help? Don't make fun of me. I've already been called a fart face today. What's this? Not very cute, is it? You, James. You take it. Mm, thanks. The lead ring. That's what it is. We need two rings for the 3D door. <laughs> Before I was trying to remember what items they were. Okay, so now we should be able to leave the hospital. 
but not without a quick stop off into the storeroom to get our prize is what could it be a brand new car definitely worth um, getting these answers right because should be quite a lot of ammo Whoa, do we get now? Presuming that all the questions were right. That's it. Whoa. Oh no, Maria got hit. Okay. Where's Maria? Oh, she's there. I thought I just left again. Fucking attacked. Okay, so three. One, three. Yes. Shotgun shells. Shotgun shells. Shotgun shells. Shotgun shells. Shotgun shells. Ample. Ample. That was definitely worth getting. Okay. I'm gonna save. Because once we um, go through that 3D door, we've got um, a part which can be fairly annoying. Mainly because of Maria again. This is your brains on drugs.